Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to install RSBot onto your Mac without it lagging because I know quite a few people have been going like Oh my god it's lagging, I can't do this properly, it's lagging! and then like flipping out and having to go at the developers so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just run you through it step by step so let's get started first of all obviously I'll open up Mozilla ok, Firefox holy shit you just saw my Facebook Ok, so, let's get started. First we need to go www.rsbot.org Let that to load. I'm going to quickly sign in. Actually, no, I won't. I won't bother. Ok, so, what we'll do, we'll go to download. Ok, we can't use SVN on a Mac just yet because it doesn't work very well and it's really poor. So, download. Okay, you'll get this screen up, depending on whether you're using Firefox or not. Just save it to the desktop, so press OK. And then it'll save it to your desktop, depending on where you want it. Okay, or if you are using Firefox, you can just double click it from here. But don't bother just yet, because you will get lag, as I will now show you. You'll probably get really annoyed, because it'll crash. Okay. okay. Give it a moment. See, nothing happens, okay? So, this is basically the bot playing up, okay? I can give you the reason for that. It's actually because Java on a Mac doesn't have the ability to run on enough RAM. So, if you're not running a program that needs, say, 256 megabyte of RAM, okay, but you're trying to run it on, say, 100, you're going to get lag. So nothing's actually going to work properly, which is why I'm going to show you how to do this. So I put everything I need onto my desktop. Okay, so I click in here. Right, so everything I need is here right now. Okay, so I go to terminal. Okay, now I shall type in CD, okay, space, users. This should be coming up at the bottom of the video right now. CD users, your username, in my case it's Reese Vineyard, not your RuneScape username, just your username on your Mac, okay? Okay, and then we go desktop. Okay, so now that we've finished navigating to our desktop, we need to navigate to the folder where RSBot, the jar file for RSBot is now held. Okay, on my Mac it's actually RSBots. Okay, so all we do next to a desktop is bots, okay? Execute the command. Alright, so now we're actually in our RSBot folder, okay? Virtually, but we are in it. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to tell Java to run at 256 megabytes worth of RAM. Okay, so as I was telling you earlier, if a program needs 256 meg megabyte of RAM, and we're only giving it, say, 100, it's going to lag and it's not going to work correctly. But, if we then decide, oh, we might as well give it the full 256 to make it work properly, we can then just give it that and give the partition over to it. Okay, so what we're going to type is Java, okay, a little line, and then all we're going to type is xmx256m, okay, another little line, and then we're going to type our RS box. So, in my case, it's rsbot.jar. Okay, so that. Okay, so we're going to try this just once more to make sure that you got it right. So it's cd, okay, users. Okay, now your username for what you are on this Mac. Mine, in my case, is Reese Vineyard. Okay, and then what you want to do is you want to go desktop, if that's where you place the rsbot. Okay, and in the folder. So now we want to go rsbots. Okay, now execute that command, you're now virtually within that folder. Okay, so we're there. Now, all we need to do is... Java... Okay, that little line, xmx256m. Okay, jar, and then you need to type the name of your rsbot, which should just be rsbot.jar. Okay, we'll now execute the command and let it roll. Okay, as you can see, it's now loading up down here. I'm 
just give it a moment because I'm still injecting the client. There we go, it's allocating the memory that we've just given it, which is 256 megabyte of RAM. And as you can see, it's loading at normal speed. Okay, I'm just signing in for you guys. Prove to you that it is perfect. Okay, we're still logging in, loading screen, and there we are. All perfect and in working order. No lag. Okay, so that's that. That's me showing you guys how to do this properly. Okay, so I hope this guide worked for you guys. If you have any more questions, feel free to post them in the comments. I'll definitely get back to them because I know how frustrating it can be someone not helping you. Okay, thank you again and hope to see you on the RSBot community. Bye for now. Oh, oh yeah, subscribe. Please subscribe.